has experienced new levels of confidence, confidence and competence. While communication is an integral part of everyday life, she has embraced the idea of maximizing her effectiveness as a business owner, a community leader, and a mentor. She left home at age 15 to explore the big wide world and discover what adventure might be found. From a small farm in the Midwest, to Arizona, to Alaska, to working in the Caribbean, she has never shied from challenges or adventures. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Determined to explore all life has to offer, she has discovered why Toastmasters. Please help us <coughs> welcome our speaker today, Marie Wagner. <laughs> Why Toastmasters? Have you asked yourself that? Why Toastmasters? Most people think Toastmasters is just about public speaking. And while it is, it is so much more than that. Have you ever wished that you could have more confidence getting up and speaking in front of people? Have you ever wished you were a better leader or organizer of people to get a job done. Have you ever wished you could express your thoughts more clearly, eloquently, and effectively? I mean, who hasn't said, gee, I wish I'd said this, or gee, I wish I hadn't said that? Since we live and work with people, Communication is key to success in every area of our lives. And that's where Toastmasters comes in. We learn and practice simple skills that build on and interconnect with each other to create valuable benefits. And one of the most valuable benefits I've received is confidence. Confidence in myself, in my ideas, in my abilities, but confidence comes from practice, which we get at every Toastmaster meeting. <clears throat> confidence comes from knowledge, and there's an abundance of resources available online, and also, as they've mentioned, in the manuals, which comes with your membership, and in the monthly magazine, which they've placed a number of them along the table. Confidence comes from positive reinforcement and constructive suggestions. We're here for each other to be encouraging and supporting in the safe environment of the Toastmaster meeting. Albert Einstein said, a person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. Mm -hmm. Leadership skills, whether you are in the military, work for the government, are a teacher, a parent, you have leadership responsibilities. And good leaders are good communicators. Good leadership comes from learning how to facilitate a meeting and how to listen and evaluate what people are saying and give them constructive feedback to achieve your mission or your goals. Learning to express our thoughts is something that we have numerous opportunities for in every meeting. We practice, get feedback, and then try again. And that preparation creates confidence that can translate into better job interviews, sales calls, even dating and personal relationships. Organizational skills are invaluable. We practice organizing meetings, our speeches, our thoughts, and time management. Have you attended meetings that run over time and people talk out of turn and off topic and the moderator doesn't moderate? <laughs> well, in Toastmasters, we learn to stay focused, stay on track, stay on point, and respect each other's time. Uh, listening is a critical skill that's often underestimated. 
Communication is not just talking. We need to learn to listen and evaluate what we hear both verbally and see non-verbally. Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the world, has said that he believes public speaking is the most important skill for success in business. He had a fear of public speaking and so took some courses. My sister was a Toastmaster years ago and then became a teacher and she told me that she could never have become a teacher without the skills and confidence she gained in Toastmasters. Susie Orman, one of the most powerful women in the world and a financial advisor, has a passion for helping people better their lives. And she has said that the, the message must be simple, easy to understand, and you cannot be afraid of criticism when you're trying to convey an important message. Toastmasters works for all kinds of people, even those with disabilities or challenges such as Tourette's or autism. And I've seen this firsthand when a young woman came to her first meeting crying and said, I can't do this, I have Asperger's and I can't do this, but with gentle encouragement and she was brave enough to come back and within two or three meetings she was getting up here and speaking with confidence in front of the group. Toastmasters offers clubs for in hospitals, prisons, universities, businesses to empower people to be more confident communicators, better leaders, and more fulfilled individuals. And I like the opportunity to be able to help other people grow. So why Toastmasters? Value. A friend of mine wrote a book and he wanted to also be able to communicate his message and speak about his book. So he invested thousands of dollars into professional speaking classes. I honestly don't think he got any more out of that than I've gotten out of just a few months in Toastmasters. And our dues are less than $10 a month. And you are welcome to attend as many meetings as you like to determine if this is something that you would like to do. So why Toastmasters? Why not? You have nothing to lose, everything to gain. The poet John Greenleaf Whittier wrote, of all sad words of tongue and pen, the saddest are these. It might have been. Oh.